American space exploration. In order to be technical leaders in space today, we need to be in continuous pursuit of being better. We need to look for opportunities to be better in every area. That includes deep space exploration, human spaceflight, building and sustaining research capabilities in space, like the ISS, space tourism, and space situational awareness. We need to transform once remote possibilities into tangible realities. That requires substantial investment in research and development, state-of-the-art facilities, and cutting-edge projects that inspire and attract the best and brightest minds in engineering. So today in our business, when we celebrate a successful launch and the assets reach their intended orbit, that's not the end, because the mission is just beginning. For the space community, that also means operating at the cutting edge of technology in harsh environments with evolving threats. To do this, our architectures, including our integrated ground systems, need to be resilient, robust, reliable, and interoperable while still meeting the constraints of our ever-tightening budgets. Failure is also part of the process of innovation. We have to take note of our failures and document and understand why our ideas didn't work. If we fear failure, we will never try anything new. Innovation happens when we work together and utilize every resource and strategy at our disposal to develop the technical solutions that our world demands. From large private companies to student-led small sat missions, we are seeing a tremendous increase in the level of global participation in space, which is a great opportunity with unique challenges. As more countries and organizations invest in space, we all reap the rewards of technological progress. So the launch business will continue to be dynamic and the need for focused mission assurance will continue to be a high priority because it is still true that rocket science is hard.